this. Oh, Jay, why? Okay, quick. What does that sound remind you of? Uh, reminds me to get a new best friend? No, come on. What does that sound remind you of? Three guesses. Um, okay, uh, an alarm clock? No. Um, church bells. No, but close. Oh, <laughs> I got it. You got it? Yeah, let's say it together. Yeah. Three, two, one. Recess, recess bell! And I'm Jay. Welcome to Press Play. Man, didn't that sound bring back memories? Monkey bars, hopscotch, dodgeball, kickball, monkey bars. Did I already say that? Mm, you did. What's wrong? You said it. Said what? The only word that makes my recess memories sour and not sweet. What? Hopscotch? No, are you kidding me? I'm in the Hopscotch Hall of Fame. Dodgeball. <laughs> Any ball thrown my way to this day, I whirly dervish and whip it back in lightning speed. Uh, kickball? Oh no, what happened? It's a moment I don't like to relive. Mere seconds away from the recess bell ringing to go back inside, bases loaded, two outs, down by just one run. The pitch was a simple dribbler, not a skipper. Ugh, I hate it though. Not a curved or a spinner, just a dribbler down the middle and. And what? And Charlie Browned it. What? I went wonky. I'm not following. I'm Kitty Wampus. Oh, okay. Nope, still no idea. I missed it, okay? It was a total whiff, and the momentum threw me into the air. I landed with a great view of the sky and the catcher. I vowed I'd never play kickball again. But Emma, that's ridiculous. You're so much stronger now than you were then. I bet if you had the chance, you'd kitty wampus that ball to the moon. Kitty wampus is bad. Oh, well, you get my point. And I think there's a way to show you if you know what I'm talking about, huh? 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 Okay, <laughs> hey. let's do it. Three, Three two, two, one, press, press play. play. <gasps> A playground! We did it! It's a recess! I'm gonna go hit the monkey bars. <laughs> Hold on a blank there, Chief. Well, who are you? Kicks. Serious kicks. That's my name, but kickball's my game. Yep. You are looking at the first inductee into the National Kickball Hall of Fame. Also the last, because they closed it down right after the ceremony. Something about termite infestation. I don't know. Well, nice to meet you, uh, Serious. Mm -hmm. I'm Jay, and this is Emma. You two can call me coach now. That's what I do. I coach people to live out their kickball dreams. Well, that's perfect because... Oh, no, don't tell her. Don't have to. I can tell by the look on your face, young lady, that you need to re be reminded of the strength in your... Are you right or left footed? Left? Like I said, the true strength in your left foot. But she, Kitty Wampus. Jay! Oh, my golly. It's worse than I thought. But there's been worse cases. In the book of Judges 6 to 7, there's a story about a guy named Gideon who God rescued from a big kitty wampus. Can you please stop saying kitty wampus? Well, you started it. It's a fun word. Kitty wampus. God's people, the Israelites, were supposed to show the world God's love, but they had been doing anything but. Because of their bad decisions, they ended up under the power of the Midianites. The Midianites treated these Israelites very badly. Whenever the Israelites tried to raise cattle or plant crops, they were destroyed immediately. Oof, that is a real kitty wampus. The Israelites cried out to God, and God answered, like always. God sent an angel to Gideon, and the angel said in Judges 6, 12, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Gideon was like, what? Mighty warrior? He thought he had no strength at all, but God was about to prove him wrong. Then the Lord said to Gideon, go in the strength you have and save Israel out of Midian's hand. Am I not sending you? Sounds like God really wanted Gideon to feel strong. Exactly. And Gideon did, and so strong that he destroyed an idol that people worshiped instead of God. Cool. So 
Gideon got superpowers? Nope. There are different kinds of strength. And Gideon was getting the kind that comes when we are confident that God is with us. The Midianites didn't like what Gideon did, and the fight was on. Gideon didn't quite feel strong enough yet, so he asked God to show him something. Twice, Gideon laid out an animal skin. One time he asked God to make it wet in the morning, and one time, dry. God did it, and Gideon grew stronger, so strong that he took an army and headed out to battle. On the way, God kept dwindling down Gideon's army from tens of thousands to thousands and then hundreds. God was showing Gideon what real strength was, relying on God and not on his own power. Because of this God-given strength, Gideon ended up defeating the Midianites with an army of only 300 people. Wow. Awesome story. <laughs> yeah, but what about kickball? As sure as my name is Coach Serious Kicks, I know that God has made you stronger, just like he did Gideon. I'm gonna pitch you one ball, and I just know you won't kill Wampus. You'll give that ball a kitty kicking. <gasps> okay, I'll try. Here comes. Coach Serious kicked. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Hey, join us for the secret press play handshake. Hmm. I'm looking for Kitty Wampus everywhere, and it's not in here. Okay, I made it up. But you and the coach just kept saying it, so. <laughs> Whoa, you made it up? Emma, you're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Let's recap. We pressed play and went to recess where we met Coach Serious Kicks. He shared with us the story of Gideon from Judges 6 and 7. Gideon started out as a regular dude who never would have had the strength to face off with Israel's enemies, the Midianites. But he learned over and over again that it's not his strength that mattered, but God's. Until he was able to defeat hundreds of thousands of Midianites with only 300 people. What's one way God helps you grow stronger? Now it's time to drop, drop the, the verse. verse. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh! I think it's time to drop the verse. Emma, you know it. Here we go. Show them how it's done. <laughs> See what great love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God. First John 3 1. Oh! See what great love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God. First John 3, 1. See what great love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God. First John 3, 1. 